Everywhere we look within the diversity of nature, we see the beauty of fractional self-similarities at every degree and angle of creation. There has to be an underlying symmetry and a continuous process of symmetry breaking for such beauty to exist. It cannot be just because mathematics works that way that we have the beauty of such symmetry. There has to be a physical reason. In a new theory called quantum atom theory, this underlying symmetry is a symmetry of light forming the curvature and geometry of space-time. In quantum atom theory, it is the emission and absorption of light or electromagnetic radiation from one atom to another that forms the arrow of time, continuously creating the broken symmetry of space-time. Light has momentum and moves in straight lines, always taking the simplest and most efficient path. But in three-dimensional space, it will expand out in all directions, forming light spheres. The polarization of the light will be the same for the entire surface of the light sphere, creating quantum entanglement and the symmetry and geometry of space-time. People say that time cannot have geometry and symmetry because time is only one-dimensional. But in quantum atom theory, time is only one-dimensional for each individual observer. Each observer has created their own space-time geometry. This can be seen as mirror or line symmetry in the physical shape of the observer. They will see and fill this line symmetry as the arrow of time or as a timeline pointing from the past into the future. The atoms bond together and then create their own space-time geometry and symmetry in unison. This is very difficult to visualize but in this oil painting of a geisha girl walking through sunlight using the terminology of quantum mechanics the wave particle duality of the light will collapse as she walks through the rays of light. She will collapse the wave function into moments of time and space, creating her own space-time geometry. It is because each part of our universe is forming its own space-time geometry that we have fractals. Fractals always follow the simplest and the most efficient path, forming degrees of regularity and repetition, not just in space, but also in time. Fractals break the perfect symmetry of light, leading to the broken symmetry and geometry of space-time. Therefore the laws of physics can be the same at all places and at all times, but we have total diversity. Because of this, each part of our universe is made up of natural occurring fractional self-similarities of the whole, creating their own individual beauty. This will be based on the universal geometry of space-time and the electromagnetic properties of light. The frequency and wavelength will form spherical waves of periodic motion. Because of the wave nature of electromagnetic radiation, it is impossible to achieve absolute zero. Therefore, all systems will oscillate in periodic or harmonic motion. It is this harmonic oscillation and is at the heart of all fractional self-similarities. The symmetry and geometry of space-time will automatically lead to fractional self-similarities. This can be seen because the curvature of space-time has left something behind in the curvature of solid objects. There are no straight lines in nature, from the curvature of the moon to the bow of a tree to the growth rings of the tree itself. Everywhere we look, we can see within the diversity of nature the same common symmetry, the same guiding force. This can only be because of an underlying symmetry and a continuous process of symmetry breaking. The curvature of space-time is formed because when the light or electromagnetic radiation comes in contact with another object, it will be totally absorbed in proportion to the masses of that object. This will create an unbalanced force and the two objects will resonate together in a process that we call gravity. Because atoms consist mostly of empty space, electromagnetic radiation of short wavelengths, like X-rays, can penetrate the object. Therefore, every single part of matter can take part in the gravitational interaction. The gravitational field will propagate at the same speed that the electromagnetic radiation moves, the speed of light, 
therefore there is no instantaneous action at a distance. We have the inverse square law because the surface area of the light sphere increases with the square of the radius. Thus the strength of the gravitational field is inversely proportional to the square of the distance from the source. This process gives us a universal symmetry and geometry of space and time that is visible throughout the universe. Therefore we see fractional self-similarities at every degree and angle of creation and have a universal method of pattern formation of organic and non-organic matter. Everything will form into ever greater complexity because everything is creating its own space-time geometry. Even in something as simple as a snowflake, we have total diversity. There are no two patterns of snowflakes the same. This is because the atoms of each snowflake are forming their own space-time symmetry and geometry. This can explain the dynamics of evolution from simple to complex by giving nature a mathematical base to start with. Evolution makes sense, but it cannot explain why we see the same visual and mathematical patterns in organic and non-organic matter, as in seashells and spiral galaxies. Only a slight distortion in the space-time symmetry will spiral out, creating the visual and mathematical patterns of our universe. Therefore, every part of our universe is made up of fractional self-similarities, creating their own space-time symmetry. This can be seen on every level of creation, from seashells to spiral galaxies, to the mirror symmetry of life itself.